Terry. Hey guys, Terry. Um, I just uh, received a question on YouTube there in my private messages. Uh, and it was a tech related question, and I thought, what better way to respond to a tech related question than with a, a YouTube video? Especially when it was posted via YouTube. Uh, basically, the question was. Um, well, it, was, it wasn't really a question, it was the person said that they were having an issue with their truck and that they couldn't drive their truck because it was going faster in, re in reverse than it was in forward and uh, they thought they needed a programming card to repair this and typically that's not the case uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, well, all I've got right here is a typical remote. Uh, this is a Traxxas Link 2.4. Uh, it's pretty common and it's going to be fairly similar to any other remote. Um, similar enough for this demonstration anyways. I've got a battery and I've got a truck. This is my son's 4x4 slash. And so I'm going to walk you through how to uh, hopefully repair this issue without actually needing a programming card or ripping your hair out or anything else. I actually had this happen to a buddy of mine at the track there uh, a couple weeks back and uh, I gave him this suggestion and it worked, it fixed his truck, it, it made it a lot peppier, he was really happy with it. So uh, I'll get to it and uh, show you how to hopefully fix your problem without any cost and no extensive time anyways. And it, it's a uh, a very minor thing and it'll just be a few minutes so I figured I better may as well answer it on a YouTube video and uh, prevent other people from having to ask the same question basically it'll let them answer the question before they ask it because typically that's what I do with my one-to-one -one car with my RC's all kinds of stuff um, if I need to know how to do something I'll hit up YouTube because typically it's the the best resource that I've found so let's get to it all right, there you go. Now you've got a better view. Um, just wanted to mention too that this could uh, also fix if you have uh, only reverse and no forward. Uh, typically, it could mean that your your truck is in race mode and you've got the same symptoms that I'm going to show here. So what usually what the this is is the um, the ESC and the motor are set up backwards. So the wires from the ESC to the motor are making the motor actually run backwards. So your ESC, when it thinks it's going forward, it's actually going reverse. And a lot of speed controls have a limp mode in reverse. They, they limit the power in reverse because typically that's not where you want the power and it, it ends up breaking stuff. So, uh, so the problem usually is that the speed control is just backwards. And you won't really realize that uh, until you make this change and and see if it, it fixes your issue. So the first thing you need to do to make the change is on a brushless motor uh, you have three wires. On, I just want to make a disclaimer here, the brushless censored this won't work. Uh, if you mess up the wires on the brushless censored you could very well smoke your ESC so don't use this on a censored motor, just a uncensored. So basically all you do is you want to reverse your motor so you just take any two of the three wires so all three of them are just sensor wires so you just take any two of the three and switch them switch the uh, which wires they're going to at the other end and I'll show you what that will do that will actually make our truck run in reverse See, so it's trying to go reverse now because when I switch those two motor wires it switched the motor to the other direction so now the motor is switched and now we have to switch <coughs> sorry excuse me the remote to the correct direction most remotes um, lower end remotes like this will just have a little switch up here we need to reverse the channel 2 or the throttle channel to reverse uh, which way it goes the Traxxas links a little bit different you have to go into the programming you hold down the set button you wait for it to blink once, you press it again, wait for it to blink twice or sorry that was the menu button and then you press the set button to confirm that selection 
and it went to blink once again. So now I'm in the second level of the tree, and I press menu again, it'll blink twice. That's the selection I want. Now I hit set, and I hit set to confirm. It blinks fast, that means it's done it. It's reversed my second channel uh, so that my throttle now should make the truck go forward. I'm just going to hold down menu so that I can exit programming mode and it'll go back to blinking. I believe it's blinking because the batteries are almost dead, but it's my son, so I don't, I'm not surprised by that. Okay, so now if I try the throttle, we should get forward motion on forward throttle. And we do. So what we've done is we've reversed both the motor and the radio, and now the speed control should be going the right direction. So you will have 100% forward and limp mode or 50% whatever the programming may be in reverse. So this should fix any issue if you're having a problem with the uh, truck going forward or going reverse faster than it's going forward or if it's going reverse only and not going forward at all. So I hope this helps and uh, I hope a few people find it beneficial and uh, it's a, a new thing that I'm trying out. I, like I said, YouTube and Google are fantastic resources, so I like to share what I can when I can. Thanks for watching.